Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of SnowRunner. Today we'll be taking a look at the Ford F750, which comes with the new Search and Recovery DLC, which is part of Season 1 of the Season Pass for SnowRunner. Now this new truck is amazing. It took a lot of work to get it, so I'm so excited to have it. I also have to give a shout out to Promess and Steve the Body Man. They helped me out on the new Lake Cove, uh, or Cove uh, map. And boy, that map was very difficult. We were falling through the ice like all day long. But it took us a couple hours. We were able to get the truck and now we have it. So this is how it comes when you first get it. It has a couple of upgrades on it as well. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when it's completely bone stock. And then we're going to go ahead and max this thing out with upgrades and customize it and uh, have some fun with it. So here's the interior beautiful truck now this thing could do a lot it has a lot of customized uh, customizable features so i'm very excited about this thing let's go ahead and start up the engine and let's get going after we're done with customizing it we're going to go ahead and take it for a test drive maybe try to pull some trailers just to see how it performs and then we're also going to take it out in the snow as well so currently we're in michigan um, but we're going to head out to Alaska as well and test it in the snow. So let's go ahead and head to the garage. And first thing I'm going to do is make it stuck. All right, guys. So this is what it looks like when it's stuck. It's stripped down. We have no bed on it. And it's really just the chassis. So let's go ahead and start taking a look at it and see what we could do. And you guys could kind of see the power to weight, durability, fuel capacity is 140, which is really good for a scout. This is a scout truck, by the way, as well. So I think this may be one of the better scouts, depending on how well it gets around. Though. I mean, we could do a lot with it, though. So let's go ahead and try it out. Now, there's two new engines. We actually got to go find the engines in Michigan. Oh, OK. So we're going to have to go ahead and look for that. Now, gearbox, there's only one. It's custom. Suspension, there's actually two or three if you count stock. So currently we're stuck. You have the raised suspension, which lifts you up a little bit. And you also have the tuned suspension, which lifts you up a lot. Now, we did find this one. I didn't find a raise yet. I know where it's at. I just got to go get it. And again, I'll do another video showing you guys where everything's at in case you need help. But let's go ahead and install the tuned suspension. Next, we're going to go ahead and check out tires. So... Let's see. We have highway, we have off-road, and we have chain. All right, so off-roads, we have 45-inch tires that we could put on this. So I think I'm going to try... I'm going to try this. So we're going to buy this. We're also get some chains, too. So let's see. Chain 45. Let's get that, too. We're going to try it with the chains and without the chains. Uh, for the winch, we're going to go ahead and max this out. Oh, you know what? I forgot. This is technically a scout, too. So we could put an autonomous winch on it. Uh, let's see. I would rather have a more powerful winch for this. I feel like it won't flip over too much, but I feel like since we're going to be pulling with this, I think I'd rather not have the autonomous i think i'd rather have the advanced let me know what do you guys think i'm gonna go autonomous for now but i think we may switch it to the advanced later on all right so here's where it gets fun we have a couple of different things we can do we could add the pickup body we can also add this custom pickup bed up here or we could add more stuff up there a small roof rack we have a utility mount we could kind of just add just about everything you can also put a flatbed on this too and a crane okay so we have a lot of things we could do oh, man all right so what should we do let's let's configure it with like just max utility first so let's go with this it looks like that automatically installed the um the bed too wait actually i'm kind of confused i'm gonna sell that so if we add this in and then it's still the same. That's kind of a ripoff. All right, so we're going to uninstall that, sell that, and add this because this seems to give us both. All right, so then let's see. We could add a utility rack to the front. So we already have one on top. We could add another one. There's so many options. Now, another interesting thing, I guess we'll add this snorkel real quick too. 
And let's add in the oil drive. We did find that, so we're gonna go ahead and install that. Now, another interesting thing, if we go here, we could have, is it here? Oh no, it's on the rooftop. We could have this flashing light bar, which looks pretty cool. So I don't know, there's so many different options. Do we go with the light bar? Or do we go with the extra utilities? I like having extra lights up here too. All right, let's go back to frames real quick. So we have that. All right, I think I'm gonna do a utility rack up here. I kind of want to just see how much stuff I could put on it. Then there's still a utility mount here too. A mount for spare wheels, toolbox with some field repair. So this gives you a fuel tank uh, spare wheels and another 100 parts. So let's get that. This thing just has so many options. Look at this truck. Wow, this is crazy. All right, so let's go back. Exhaust. Uh, it's stock right now. I'm probably just gonna leave it as stocked. Uh, uh I think stock is fine, honestly. Uh, but I guess we'll. We'll get this probably. Oh, it's dual pipes too. Okay. Dual or single. All right, let's go with the duals. Uh, let's see. Factory parking lights. Oh, we could put lights. Oh, this already has lights on top too. All right. So if we add this, that takes away the other ones. We're not going to do that. We're going to add this visor. The visor makes the horn disappear. Oh, the horns are separate. Okay. So let's get some horns and let's get the visor rooftop. Now I can put the flasher bar, but uh, what I'll do, I'll make like another configuration so we can see it with that too afterwards. Uh, front bumper. Ooh, we can add some lights there. Now one thing you, when you add these, you don't want your like clearance to get too low. So like see how high our clearance is up front. I think I'm gonna go with this though, it just looks nice. Alright, rims, we don't have any other options. Colors, let's see. So this is what it comes with stock again. And what should we do? What color? I wanna see what they have on the two tones. This is a pretty nice color there. Blue and white is nice too. Oh, got the Barney special over here. <laughs> All right, what color do we go with, guys? What stock again? Stock is the blue and white. I kind of like this light blue. I think I may go with that light blue, guys. It is different from this white and blue. I think I'm gonna go with this. Okay. Uh, anything else? I think we did everything we had to do. So let's go ahead and take it out. Let's make it daytime again. And wow, this thing just looks like a utility beast right now. So uh, first thing I'm gonna do is see how much fuel we have. So we have 36 gallon tank already. Now we have on the custom pickup bed up here, we have 48 gallons of fuel. On the utility mount, which is right here, we have another 14 gallons of fuel. On the small roof rack on top, we have another 27 gallons of fuel. And then we're back to there. So yeah, that's a lot of fuel, guys. Let me add this up really quickly. I'm just going to grab my calculator. So we have 48. And then we have 14. And then we have 27. So that is 89. So we could carry 89 gallons of fuel. Um, let's go ahead and divide that by 36. So we could fill up our fuel tank two and a half times. So we could run out this fuel tank that we have now to 36 gallons and then fill it up two and a half more times. That is crazy. All right, now let's also look at our recover points here. Oh wait, no, not recover, repair points, sorry. So on top, the custom pickup bed has 400 repair points. The utility mount has another 100, so that's five. And small roof rack has two tires. So we could, we have two, wait, I think we have three spare tires though. 
this is wait this is crazy so we have 400 there 100 there that's 500 wow so you have 500 repair points and how many we have so many tires one two three four five six <laughs> apparently we have like eight tires oh there they go this tire is there too so look we got two tires there tire there tire there tire there and I think we have a tire underneath probably too. This is just crazy. This is overkill. This is if you gotta drive to the middle of nowhere, you make sure you bring everything that you need. Alright, so let's see what the trailer trailer options are now. Alright, so we're gonna go to the trailer store. So we could carry a full size, like regular truck tr uh fuel carrier. Let's see how much fuel is in this. Uh, refuel, that's 529 gallons of fuel that we can haul with this thing. That is insane, guys. What else can we carry? We carry full size fuel or flatbed trailer, sideboard trailer, and even a ramp flatbed trailer, guys. This holds four slots. So we can haul a four slot trailer, guys. And we could carry a maintenance trailer, service trailer. So this could basically carry almost everything a regular truck could carry, except for like a uh, anything that would need like a saddle. But that is crazy, guys. So we could pull up to four slots. And if we put the flatbed on this, that's five. So this thing could haul up to five slots without. And then if we winch to something, we could even haul more stuff. That is insane, guys. Wow. All right, um, I want to test this out in some mud. I'm thinking, let's go to the farm. That would be the ultimate test. If you guys know this map, the farm has a lot of mud. So we're going to head over there and test this thing out. Now, do remember, guys, there's two other... Their mirrors are just invalid. No, <laughs> they don't even work. I mean, they work, but <laughs> they've got so many attachments, we could barely see the trailer. But um, do remember, there's two other engine upgrades we have to find, so um, I'm going to go ahead and work on getting that later today, and I'll do a video showing all of the upgrades and where you guys could find them at. And I guess we'll do like a follow-up video once we find the better engines too. But yeah, this, this is crazy. Oh, it's all good. I got a ton of repair points. All right, I'm gonna have to swing this super wide over here. Oh, look at the money here, guys. It's getting money. You know what? I should have put something on the trailer. Put some cargo on here. You know what? We could probably pick up something from the farm, maybe. Oh, this thing has six years, nice. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that all wheel drive on now. And I don't know if we're gonna be able to get through this, guys. I don't know, we may be pushing the F750 a bit. It gets really bad up here. I'm gonna try to go through all of this mush up here. Oh man, I don't think we're going to make it through this, guys. I may have to drop the trailer. Let's try it, though. Here we go. Oh, boy. <laughs> Look at that trailer up in the air. That's from the other day when we were streaming with uh, JB20. <laughs> the trailer, it's been up there for like a week or oh, now. It's crazy. I don't know how we're going to ever get it done. It's just probably stuck. Right, we're crawling along here. I kind of got myself high centered a little bit. We're moving though. We're still moving. I don't know. I don't think we're going to be able to drag the trailer through, guys. I'm going to be honest. Alright, I think we're going to have to winch here. Oh! Woo. I'm trying to winch 
forward. Hold up, let me manually pick where I want to go. See, this one would add advanced winch would have been better because I will be able to winch out further and hit some of these trees here. So yeah, the F750 is stuck, but I'm not even really blaming the truck. I mean, I am pulling this big old trailer and honestly, most of the full-size trucks get stuck and kind of struggle here too, so I'm not even knocking it. And we do have to remember this this is a scout too. Even though it could haul so much, it is still technically a scout. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can winch this trailer to me. I don't know if my winch is strong enough. Seems to be coming to us still. Damn, this truck just looks so beasty, man. I'm just going to continue to through just to really test the truck. But with this stock engine, it's doing pretty well. I feel like once we find the uh, upgraded engine, this thing's going to be a beast. So yeah, this thing gets through the mud well, guys. Get through the mud well. I think I think it's definitely worth worth it here. So next thing we're gonna do is try to test it out in the snow and see how good it is in the snow. Alright guys, so we switched over to the Alaska map. Let's go ahead and get our truck started. Also switched up the rooftop as well. So we now have the flash and light bar, which looks pretty cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and test this thing out in the snow. Now, like I said, I will be doing a follow-up video. I do want to try this out again once we find the two better engines for this, or really the best engine. I feel like um, we'll give it another try. Wait, what the heck? I remember I never went this way. Alright, I guess we're going this way. I think I did a mission over here too. I was uh, I think I was picking up some ice, but I came up. I mean, some uh, cement bags, but I came from over here. Oh, nice! We're out here on the ice. These snow chains really help out on the ice too. Let's do some more first part. Wait, my guy got a ring. Was that always there? You guys see that on his left hand? It's kind of hard to see it. I don't know. Maybe you guys can see it. kind of looked like it's on his right hand, too. Yeah, you could just about make it out. Let's go ahead and turn our all-wheel drive on. And let's see how this truck does. So the real test is going to be trying this out with loaded trailers, too. But, I mean, it is a scout. And as a scout, it's, it's doing what it's supposed to be doing, you know. We're able to fix stuff. We're able to refill ourselves. And we're able to... You pretty much go out far and discover roads so i think this would be like the perfect truck where you get to like a new map and you gotta drive all around the map i feel like this would be the perfect truck for that Oh, this looks a little better right here. Are we going to be able to get through this? Looks like we are.
Uh, it's really deep here, guys. Alright, let's just go straight through it and test this truck out. Oh, I thought we were going to drop down a lot there. That wasn't too bad. Uh-oh. Looks like we're out of power here, guys. We really need that upgraded engine. Alright, let's hook on to that tree. Pull ourselves out. Alright, so our last test, we're going to make a left to get back onto the main road. This part of mud, it normally gives me trouble with, like, say, my Hummer. It gets stuck in there. So, let's see if this could get through it. The con normally gets us through without a problem. I mean, the con kind of just gets through everything, though, but... Let's see if the F750 can handle this muddy, iced-out road. As long as I keep up my speed. Speed. It gets deep here though, but as long as I keep on my speed. Oh, don't stop, don't stop. Go, go, go. We're bottoming out a bit, but it's still moving. Alright guys, I think this is better than our Hummer. We got through without even needing to winch. Nice. So, the main thing we're going to try to do now, guys, like I was saying, is try to go back and get that engine upgrade, and then we'll come back and do another video and see how much better the truck is with the engine upgrade. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button, leave some comments down below, subscribe if you are new, also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.